Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. This is the thing I learned in my last bookkeeping business, which is I used to think that I needed a salesperson. What I learned, and, and bookkeeping is a technical sale in a way, um, I don't need a salesperson. I don't need to sell anybody anything. By the time they get to me, they're, they, they have an idea of what they think they want. And my job is just to set really fucking good expectations to exactly what you said. Like, I'm sending a camera into their QuickBooks. I'm looking at everything. I'm talking through every bit of the process because as long as they know exactly what's going to happen, we can totally crush it for them. But if the expectation is even a little bit off, um, Sh Sean Day always said this, and it cracked me up in our maid service business, and it was so true. We didn't need to deliver a steak. People called and wanted a Big Mac. It actually created a problem if they ordered a Big Mac and we gave them a steak. And and so it was really important. And I and, I, and it was like hilarious to me that this would happen. But if they called and ordered the Big Mac and we gave them a steak, they'd be happy that one time. And then the next time we went to go do work for them, they'd be like, where's my $5 steak? And we'd be like, damn, you ordered a Big Mac. And they'd be like, yeah, but last time I ordered a Big Mac, I got a steak. So I, I need my $5 steak. Well, a steak costs 20 bucks. Yeah, but the last time, right? And so like you just missed your chance to like set expectations and hit them on the head. And it's so important that you set really clear expectations and deliver exactly that. People want consistency. They want what they signed up for. Um, they'll take it if you give them more. But all that happens in the future after that is now you're just on the hook for giving them more for free. That's why discounts kind of suck because yeah. they're just going to always want that again. They're going to want that steak for five bucks. And that's not something you can consistently deliver. So you just end up kind of fucking yourself over if you over deliver something that's not built into your price. You don't need to discount. You don't need to be cheap. You just need to set really good expectations. And that was what I found. I don't need to sell anything because I tried to hire a salesperson and he tried to sell bookkeeping. And I was like, dude, stop trying to sell them shit. Like, just tell them what we do. And, yeah. and like, what we do is fucking awesome. And they'll decide if they want that or not. But the more you sell them, the worse it's going to be. Like, the more you try to sound sexy, the more you're going to miss setting the right expectation. And we're not going to deliver that because here's exactly what we deliver. So just make sure they know that because we can deliver exactly this every time. And if we don't, then we have an operations problem, not a sales problem. But if you go sell a bunch of shit that isn't what we deliver, that's a huge problem. Like, yeah. stop trying to sell stuff. Just set really good expectations. They'll opt in as long as we are confident that we can deliver it. But stop trying to, like, be, be cool. Just be real. Hey, Home Service Heroes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something. And I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out.